Uh, Councilmember John Faust, can you uh, attest that we have a forum present? Where I do. And uh, Councilmember Kurt Redfield, will you lead us in an invitation, please? Absolutely. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening thankful for our community and those that live here, those that work here, and those that are dedicated. Lord, as we go through tonight on our short agenda, we thank you for our blessings. We ask that you continue to protect us each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Councilmember Parker, would you lead this please? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Council, you have in front of you our agenda. I will make a motion at this time to adopt our agenda as presented. So moved. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion by council? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same. We're unanimous. New business. <coughs> discussion of fire apparatus delivery delay and our next steps. And we'll ask Chief Sheriff to bring this to us. Good evening, everyone. I appreciate you being here on Friday evening. Um, I'll get right to it. We received a phone call from Reeves Fire Apparatus. That is our sector rep. And they informed me that our apparatus we have on board our engine um, it is going to be delayed an additional year. That puts it from the delivery date of July 24 through September 24 to August 2025. And while this is a setback due to the age of our fleet with our oldest engine being a 1998 model, it presented a unique opportunity for us. Um, as we looked, we had already strategically planned that we were going to need an aerial apparatus. But at the same time, we need to replace pumpers because of their aging out. So we had our eye on a quint. Basically, a quint is a ladder truck that has a tank and a pump on it. So it can be dual roll if needed. Um, with us being extended out an additional year, the $30,000 that voted to set aside in SPLOS funding to be able to, to fund the purchase without debt service um, that new engine, that is $360,000 for one year. Well, this quint we identified previously, it actually cost $360,000. Well, they listed it for $399. I talked to them and they said they would do it for $360. And th these are options, when we find out Monday night, we want to put every option on the table, see how it would affect us as a department going long term in the future. And this is what we came up with. It was our number one option going into Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we had a public safety and judicial committee meeting when we presented all the options. Uh, this appeared to be the best one from what we came up with. Um, this unit is a 2008 model Pierce. It was refurbished one year ago completely from front to back by Ridley Mountain Fire Apparatus. That's who has it now. They sold it. The, company, the department that had it realized that they did not need to go that route. They needed tankers. They were a rural department. They did not need an aerial apparatus. So they traded it in on a pumper tanker, which they took delivery on yesterday. Um, we wanted to do due diligence. So myself, Assistant Chief Gordon and Lieutenant McMillan drove over to Alabama yesterday, inspected the apparatus. We did come up with some items that we thought needed to be changed, repaired, or just maintained, and we provided them that list. They agreed to do everything that we had on the list for the same price that we had negotiated previously. Um, and what I'm asking is, well, first, if you have any questions for me, I'm more than happy to answer them, um, but I am asking for the approval to purchase this apparatus. You should take that for any donuts. Sure it we didn't do any donuts, but we did drive it up and down a, a mountain. Well, I thought it was a mountain, but uh, Chief Gordon said it was a hill. <laughs> yeah. That's mountain. But we did. We have driven it. We have run the aerial up and down. We have pumped it. We did all that, and that's how we went all the way through it front to back. Um, Lieutenant McMillan teaches aerial apparatus operators for the city, and where he works as well. And so we brought him along for the aerial expertise. Um, Chief Norton came and inspected the mechanics of it. And uh, we went through it very well. So, what do you think about the? I uh, believe it's a good truck. Drives good. We took it on probably 15, 20 minute drive. Holds straight in the road. Tracks good. Um, uh, inspected the undercarriage. Very minimal rust for where it came from. Um, very few minor leaks. Just you know something that you would expect to see on a fire truck. Um, nothing out of the ordinary as. Chief 
stated. There's a few things that we identified that we asked that they replace for repair. Uh, but other than that, I believe it's a, a good, good apparatus. It'll serve the city well. Does that have any warranty on it at all? It will have a year warranty for major components. Um, there is a $12,000 maximum out of pocket for Remedy Mountain, and it's triggered at $3,000. That's not a $3,000 deductible. That just means any major component repair. Once it, if they we get an estimate that is $3,001, they will pay $3,001 to fix it. Um, but it does have that major component warranty. And like I said, everything we identified, they're going through the creative function list form. They said they will fix it all um, if, if we so choose to pursue it. Um, and if you do, and we, it's proven the purchase, it will also go over there before we take delivery and ensure that all that has been done. Mayor, if I may. Yes, please. Um, the committee had this information presented in our recent meeting. It, it is the recommendation of the committee to move forward on this. Um, I'd like to commend the chiefs and the city manager and our finance director. Um, in our committee meeting, when this was presented, it was presented in a professional, factual manner. Uh, it left committee very clear choices. That's a, that's a step in the right direction, so thank you. I also wanted uh, Lindsay to explain to the <coughs> council how we come up with paying for it and then how we were going to pay for the new one when it comes. Oh, to sure. Uh, oh, stand up. Uh, <laughs> um, so, as I recall, y'all approved for us to put back $30,000 a month um, to purchase the new fire truck that we're supposed to be getting. Um, so, currently we have around, uh, at the end of the month, we'll have $270,000 put back for that fire truck. Um, so, we are planning on using that, those funds for this new fire truck and then using an additional $90,000. We will continue to put $30,000 back for the new fire truck. We should have enough to completely pay for that fire truck. We'll only receive it hopefully in 2025. So that's our Does our current spouse <laughs> balance include that that we've been putting aside, or is it already? No. It, well, it's, it, okay, so it's in, it's in a restricted okay. portion of that. So what you're seeing in SPLOS does not include okay. the $30,000. Right. And another aspect of that is I, when I spoke with them today, I asked about you know, what time frames would you receive payment, what time frames would we expect to receive the apparatus. And they said based on the, the list that we presented and the things we wanted to repair and the shop time, um, they expected it to probably be about 90 days before we would take delivery. So, and also, we only had to put 25% down at the time of signing, so that would allow us that additional 90 days that the committee had spoke about to acquire that extra $90,000. And our current spouse is through 2026, correct? Yes, sir. And do I understand there's some advantages on our rating as well? As yes, sir. Uh, we, got, we received through the fire department. The fire department is 50 points out of a 105 point system uh, for ISO, and the fire department was responsible for 50 points of that. We received, I think it was 0. 0.62 points for our aerial apparatus out of a total of four. Uh, this will allow us to make up that gap, and we should receive nearly full credit for it, depending on make sure we have all the equipment on it, but we should. So that'll help us improve as well. We're also working to improve in our training numbers, um, and eventually with an additional station will help us with our coverage. And Chief, if you will explain, uh, since you're not going to be running this thing totally all the time, uh, what you consider a lifetime for this particular I would vehicle? expect us to be able to get up to 10 years out of it, because like you indicated, we're not going to be running this to every single call we've got. This will go to commercial fires, commercial fire alarms, or any designated large structure that, that we call we think we might need it to, or if we need it for a technical rescue capacity for the aerial device. Um, but it's not going to run every medical call and then every car accident and everything like that. So we also have people on staff that can perform the additional training needed to operate. Recommendation out of committee to approve the request. Council, I entertain a motion to, uh, to approve the uh, $360,000 as we discussed to have a down payment of 25%. And then by the time that it comes due that they have it, that we'll have the full 360. That comes from the committee. I'll second that. And the motion on the side. Any further discussion by council? Additional expense for equipment to get it going? Fortunately for us, we're going to need some small stuff, but the biggest expense for us would be air packs. Um, we have to have four SCV air packs on that. But um, in our, this current year's budget, we requested four for capital expense to start rotating and replacing old. 
So we can take that four that we've already requested, it's already been approved and allocated, and put it right on that truck. I understand it will fit in the existing. It will fit. It will be tight. It will be tight. That that was part of the problem. We had to find a very specific apparatus to fit. Thank you. Any further discussion by council? If not, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And the motion is carried. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you very much. Great opportunity. Item number two is consideration of approval of implementation of phase one new hire incentive and recruitment for the Jasper Police Department. We'll ask Chief Dawkins to bring that to us. Sorry, I'm in my, uh, Good evening. I want to talk to you all about the incentive program. I know we just had a big, um, I guess, increase in some different things, but when it comes to recruitment, it never, never seems to change or seems to get better right now. Uh, I actually just come from a class, I've been in a class all week with uh, different officers from all over Georgia, from South Georgia to North Georgia, you name it. And one of the topics was recruitment and retention, and we all have the same problem, every one of us. So what I've introduced um, is a, an incentive for officers. For right now, it will be just for new hires. Um, we broke it down to three phases. First phase is new hires, and then we'll go from there. Um, this first phase would consist of uh, coming in with a associates, a bachelor's, or master's, and the intermediate and advanced certifications. So it gets them some incentive to come to us. We have a good starting point, very competitive. Um, and this is just something to put out there and help them. Because just, you look at any of them, that's about what they're going with. The bachelor's education, that's a big thing. And this certification. Those two certifications in, in particular. So that's what we're, we're trying to start with. And hopefully, as we grow, revenue grows, budget grows, we can implement phase two and phase three. Not too worried about phase one. <coughs> phase one is the is what we need. Yeah, and I think we would want to put this out on social media. Yes, we're we're going <coughs> to explain that. I'm going to get with Kim, and we'll hopefully put something together. I think the fire department didn't y'all have something mm -hmm. something similar to that. Put it on Facebook, Indeed, whatever they have out there. I don't know what we can use and uh, put these all together. Whatever Kim recommends. That's what you Pretty much. <laughs> She's very good at it. Yes. Well, let's, right. not, let's not Questions? try to dump everything on Kim. What do you mean that she's No, we will, we will Poor come up Kim with... Is, I mean, even Mary can do it. I mean, I mean it's not a problem. All I need is the no, we'll information put We'll put it and together and I'll let her upload it. Because if I try to upload it, I don't know where it's going to be. Problem. Problem. Right. We'll see. I'll download it. Upload it. Gotcha. Any discussion by council? Uh, Mayor, this item was presented as well to committee and our committee uh, meeting this week. It is the recommendation of the committee to move and approve on this. Thank you. Any further discussion? So when we come out of mandate, what, what exactly are you going to see them today? Now, this is not our. This is just somebody else that's already mandated. We, we the, it is in there. If you come with mandate, they would have to for mandate. They have to pass mandate first, and they would have to pass the FTO program that we have, which would put them at a the starting or the PO one for uh, police officer one rate, and then from that point we would be able to give them whatever incentives they already come with. If they're coming out of the mandate, they won't have the intermediate and they won't have the advanced, they would just have their degree. They, they have but that. you have a commitment from them that they have to stay here yes. if we go through mandate. Two-year commitment. Right. 
How many years? Two. 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 The other thing is, with this conflict with what you have in our present police that no. are on staff? Um, well, if somebody come with off the road had a master's degree and intermediate and advanced, they would come right under our highest paid sergeant. Okay. So we've talked to all of them. They understand what we're doing. There's, we're not hiding anything from them. So right. I, I did, and I just I, as long as they're under, I want to make sure that we're not losing more because of this. No, yeah. No, no. Actually, it seems to have some incentive for them because we have a couple looking into getting their associates now, trying to look into that. So it's they know the other part's coming, right. and by the time they get that, then it'll probably be. Okay. Good. Further discussion by council? If not, um, I have a motion and a second but to approve the consideration yes. approval of. Mr. Second. John. John, did you second that? I think John did. Did you not? I did not, but I will. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I have a motion and a second to approve the uh, implementation of phase one new hire incentive and recruitment for Jasper Police Department. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same. And the motion carried. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Our last item is consideration of approval of emergency purchase of 8 inch uh, water pipe and uh, our to the mayor, you saw your James to bring this to us. Good evening, Mayor and members of council. Uh, thank you for coming together on a Friday evening and dedicating your time to the city. Um, just wanted to bring this request before you. It has already gone to committee and the committee has endorsed it. Um, we have some opportunities and we have some challenges with, as, as it is no secret, with our current infrastructure. And um, because of those challenges, we are uh, limited in the development that we can see in the area. And uh, we are coming to you with this emergency purchase so that we can have the assets available to be able to poise ourselves um, for some upgrades in our current system and some of the parts of the system to keep them from failing and when they fail increase those uh, increase those assets in the ground so we're bringing this to you because we found an excellent price um, and it is currently available and that during uh, uh, this time um, in in the our nation is unheard of that you have um, something that is a reasonable price and something that is readily available and you don't have to wait for. So the reason we are bringing it to you as an emergency purchase is we want to get in on this price and this timing and do not want to see another utility be able to come in and get this pipe when we need it um, ourselves. So we are just bringing this request to um, City Council for approval um, for this emergency purchase of, um, of 3,000 feet of 8 inch pipe. And we did go out and follow proper procurement of getting the three quotes, and we have them before you tonight. So you're taking consolidated, is that right? Uh, consolidated pipe, yes, sir. That came in as the lowest quote. Okay. Make a motion we uh, approve purchase of the low bid from the consolidated pipe for $67,200. Second. A motion and a second. Discussion by council. So I have a question for you as far as our routine purchasing policies. What what would routinely happen as we as we order? Routinely, um, we would actually go out um, be a, above fifty thousand dollars. We go out for a bid on it um, because of the current price and the current availability. We didn't want to go through the bid lengthy process because we need this pipe now. Um, for some particular um, parts of our infrastructure. And so if we waited um, those opportunities that we may miss out on now, if we go through the bid, we won't be able to get back. 
But as we as we use pipe up, do we replace it as we use it up, or do we buy it in lump sums? Or we buy we we have in the past bought it in lump sums. Okay. Um, it, you, it's cheaper. Um, yeah. The more you buy um, at one time, but I mean, if we find ourselves needing pipe, we, we obviously have to go out and buy it. So right. yes. Okay. And is it in a, a year we purchased uh, a large amount? Do you remember? It was. It's been six probably six. two years ago. We two. bought a bunch of six inch. Six inch. Oh, six, that was six. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we still got a little bit of that on the yard? Is it yes, it's about 3,000 feet a bit. Okay. That sounds like a lot of pipes, but it's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Especially in today's demand, supply and demand issues. So. Yeah. Any further discussion by council? I have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, same. And we are unanimous on that. Yeah. Motion to second. Motion to second. Adjourn. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. aye.